Hi, in this video, I'm going to discuss how to standardize uh, variables in SAS and what do we mean by variable standardization. So first, uh, let's learn what is uh, variable standardization. Well, uh, variable standardization is nothing but transforming uh, variables uh, so that mean of the variable or average of the variable is zero uh, and the standard devi deviation is one. Now we call these variables as uh, standard standardized variables. Okay. So uh, why do we do uh, standardization, variable standardization? We do variable standardization for the following reasons. Uh, first thing is, uh, uh, you know, most of the variables uh, we use in uh, regression um, has got uh, different uh, types of units. For example, if you have height and weight uh, in the same regression, the units of height uh, will be in meter and centimeter, whereas the unit of uh, weight will be in uh, kilos, right? Um, so there, there is a difference in the uh, units. So to make them unitless uh, and to bring them uh, to make them very similar in measures, we do uh, variable transformation. Uh, we call it variable standardization. So uh, another reason is that to find the relative importance of variables in a linear regression. If there are two variables like a and b, uh, which are explanatory variables. So we want to know whether uh, A has more importance in the regression or B has more importance. And also in many uh, algorithms, uh, standardized variables uh, gives faster uh, convergence. So that's also very useful. So how do we standardize uh, variables? We standardize by subtracting mean of the variable uh, from each data point and divide it by the standard of deviation of the variable. Right. If you do that, you will get your variable mean as zero, and uh, its its standard deviation as one. Now uh, we can do it. Uh, we, we can see it by ourselves also. Uh, if you use this formula, you will get a standardized variable. Uh, now, how do we do it in SAS? Also, see how we can use the standardized variables in a regression, and how do we interpret it, and how it helps us. Uh, finding out the relative importance. I'll take uh, three variables from the dataset cars from SAS Health. So I've taken length, horsepower, and mileage from these uh, datasets. Um, now uh, I'll standardize uh, the uh, three variables using the SAS PROC uh, PROC standard. Okay, so syntax is like this: PROC standard data uh, input dataset. Uh, the mean is zero. Uh, and the standard deviation is one, and we are creating another data set which will store the standardized uh, variables. Um, we're calling it as Z cars. So let us run this. So I'll go to my work library. So the initial data was like this. Uh, the range was different uh, as you can see uh, horsepower is in more like 100 to 300 mileage starting from 10 to 30 and length variable is also um, between 100 to 200 now let's look at the standardized variables now this is what you can see all three variables are now standardized, right? So uh, if you take mean of this variable, you will get uh, very close to zero or zero uh, because of uh, some computational issue. You will get a number which is non-zero, but it will be very, very close to zero. Um, and the standard deviation is one. Now let's see whether it's true. Now, what you do is that we'll do, uh, we'll run a proc means on this data on the standardized variable. So, uh, we'll use this. So, let's run a proc means. Now, if we go to the output, you'll see that uh, the mean is very, very less. So, 10 to the power minus 16, which says that it's uh, very close to zero or it's zero. 
So if uh, and the standard deviation is one, as you can see in all three cases. So that means uh, using PROC standard, we can uh, standardize our variables. Now the question is, why do we do it? Okay, uh, what purpose does it serve? Now let's do a regression using standardized variables. So we'll use PROC reg data. So uh, we'll use the data set which has got the standardized variables. So Zcars is the data which is the output data from the PROC standard. Uh, we are going to use that data set uh, for regression purpose. Okay. So mileage uh, is uh, our dependent variable and length and ho uh, horsepower uh, are our um, explanatory variables or independent variables. So just to, just to give you a background. Uh, here we are trying to uh, regress uh, how length of the car and horsepower of the car is impacting or affecting uh, the mileage of the car, right? How they are related. Um, so let's run this, run the regression. Now, in the regression, you can see in the output, you can see that uh, all two, both the two variables are uh, uh, significant. As you can see, the p values is uh, less than 0 0.05. So these are uh, significant variables. Now you can compare these two estimates. Uh, the value for length, the estimate value for length is 0 0.28 uh, minus 0 0.28 and the estimate value for horsepower is uh, minus 0.56. Now what it says is that uh, horsepower uh, contributes to mileage more than length because the estimate is more than length, length uh, the estimate of length, right? And by how much you just divide it uh, 0.56 by 0.28 that's close to 2, right? So horse, horsepower is twice more important than length. Uh, in determining the uh, mileage of the car. So, uh, so now question is, can't we do this with normal regressions uh, or the regression phase with normal variables without doing the standardizations? Well, we cannot do that. We cannot compare uh, the estimates from um, regressions which uses uh, non-standardized variables, right? Because they are of dif uh, different units. So we cannot do, uh, we cannot compare these estimates. But here with standardization, we can compare. Now let's see how do we do, uh, how do we get standardized estimates directly from regressions, proc rate. Now instead of using the data set which has got standardized variables, we are using the uh, the first data set which has got on uh, non-standardized variables, right? So these are very normal data set. We we are we're not standardize, standardizing. Using the option uh, STB uh, or standardized beta, uh, we can get standardized uh, estimates along with the uh, normal estimates, right? So the syntax is uh, same, the proc reg syntax, except one change here that we are going to use an option STB. Now I have highlighted here. You can see. So let us run this. Now let us see the results here. Now if you go to the uh, parameter estimates, you have uh, parameter estimates and then standardized estimates. So we have estimates when the data is not uh, standardized and we also have estimates uh, when the data is uh, standardized, right? So using that option, we can get both the estimates. Now, if you compare these two estimates, you can see that parameter, uh, the uh, non-standardized estimates are uh, different from the standardized estimates because the variable transformation has happened. So you can expect difference in the uh, beta, but you can always go back to your uh, non-standardized estimates from your standardized estimates, okay? Um, we can get the same values, right? With some transformations, we will not go into the details here. Uh, but you can see that 
uh, the, the, the estimates are different in both the cases. Now, if you compare parameter estimates of horsepower with length uh, with the non-standard age estimates, you can see that length seem to be uh, more important than horsepower, but that's not the actual case. If you look at standard age estimates, uh, the value for horsepower is more than value for the uh, length, right? So that's the correct way of explaining. Uh, if, you, if you explain things from the non-standard age estimates, you will not be able to correctly evaluate the relative importance of variables. So one has to find out the standard age estimates in order to be able to uh, explain the relative importance. So you can see that horsepower is twice more important than length in determining the uh, mileage of the cars. Now, what about the uh, marginal uh, impact or marginal impact of variables on the dependent variable? So uh, that will be determined by the normal parameter estimate. So you can use the normal parameter estimates to uh, explain the marginal effect on the dependent variables.